Okay, um, this is problem nine from chapter 22, 22-9. And in this problem, we are given that we have some electric field that has a horizontal direction in the region of space, but its magnitude is changing. Its magnitude uh, changes from a certain value to a lower value uh, as it goes from x equals zero to x equals 25. And there's some Q, or a cubical region, if you will. Actually, one side is at x equals zero, and the other side is x equals 25. And this E zero is given to be 560 newtons per coulomb. And this E25, let's say, is 410 newtons per coulomb. Okay. So it's horizontal, there is this uh, cubical region where the side is uh, 25 meters, and we are asked the charge enclosed by this cubical region. Okay. And uh, so let's just erase the electric field lines over here. Uh, this is, of course, an application of Gauss's law, uh, so that the enclosed charge uh, is going to be related to the electric flux. Okay. So let's write Gauss's law. For a closed surface, the dot product of the electric field were uh, infinitesimal surface areas integrated over the closed surface is going to be the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Okay. So if we can somehow calculate the left hand side of this uh, equation, these, this integral over here, we can find the enclosed charge for that surface. So in this case, of course, the surface is over our cube. And uh, so to calculate, to calculate this uh, integral, we need to come up with some, uh, some PAs. And what does this uh, DA look like? So remember, for a simple closed surface, uh, this, uh, the, uh, this infinitesimal area element will have a direction. And that direction, uh, we have chosen it to be outward. Right? So here, on the top face, the DA will be upwards. On the front face, it will be pointing towards you. On the left, it will be pointing to the left. On the right, it will be pointing to the right, and so on and so forth. Right? So for six different faces of the cube, there will be six different directions for this DA. But over a surface, because the uh, size of the, the faces of the cube are just uh, flat surfaces, it's just going to be a constant vector. This direction is not going to change. Right, so how can we calculate this dot product? Now, dot product is two special cases. When the two vectors are perpendicular to each other, the dot product vanishes. And when they're parallel to each other, uh, it's just a simple product. And if they're anti-parallel, uh, then it's a simple product with a negative sign. Now, for these four faces, except for the left face and the right face, this DA element is going to be perpendicular to the electric field. Right? Electric field is always horizontal. It's either up uh, into the blackboard, down, or out from the blackboard. It's always going to be perpendicular to this horizontal electric field. So those identically vanish. For the left-hand side, it's not going to vanish. The electric field is going to be anti-parallel to the DA. For the right face, it's not going to vanish either. Uh, it's going to be parallel to the DA. So we can write this. Uh, integral over the closed surface as integral over just these two faces. Right? So let's write this. Left face uh, E dot EA plus, now this integral is over the right face E dot EA. Okay? And for those faces, we know what EA is, it's constant, and we can uh, actually just uh, turn these into simple products. So this one becomes a simple product with a negative sign. So let me move this over here. And this is going to just become a simple product with a positive sign. In this case, these two vectors for the left face are anti-parallel. They're in opposite direction. And in this case, they're parallel. So again, for the left face, this is a minus E dA. And then for the right face, this is just E dA. All right, now we can do one more simplification. Uh, that on the left face, this electric field has constant magnitude, right? All of this left face lies at x equals zero. At x equals zero, the electric field has a magnitude uh, E zero, 560 newtons per coulomb. And likewise, on the right face, the magnitude of the electric field is constant. Everywhere, it's just going to be 410. 
So this integral uh, then becomes, uh, I can take this out because it's a simple constant, d0, a plus, uh, I can take this one out, I'll call this e25 times d a. And finally, these integrals, they are in fact identical to each other. These are just the sum of the infinitesimal area elements over the faces, and that's just the area of the face, right? And that's just L squared. So this whole thing here uh, becomes minus E0 L squared plus E25 L squared. Okay? And this is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. And because you can look this up, L is given to be 25, E0 is given to be something, E25 is given to be something else. So 516 and 410, respectively. Uh, you need to carry out the algebra and find the enclosed charge.